So I want to correct an issue, three issues actually, that I came across when using my laptop. They were not sound easy, easy issues, they were all laptop issues. I have a laptop here, gaming laptop from 2013. It has a mic input, line input, uh, line out. Um, it also has a digital I.O. connector. the side let's see here yeah so this is headphone or line out this is the mic input this is the digital IO out this one's the line input well I had set up my DIY mic and I thought I can use just the laptops uh, you know onboard microphone preamp um, turns out that when you measure the um, microphone preamp it puts out 2.2 volts on the mic input of the laptop so this is the power you know that the, the you know, um, handheld microphones that, like the one I'm speaking into right now. <laughs> but it doesn't power my DIY mic. My DIY mic means, you know, anywhere from 9 volts to 18 volts to properly work. And that caused a problem when I took measurements. The impulse response would echo here's the impulse response the echo this one's the reference channel the left channel and this guy is your input the measurement channel and here's the acoustic frequency response here well impulse response here frequency response down here and I put the marker here bin number 323 uh, shows the acoustic distance here so every time I perform this measurement, though, I'd get an echo on the right channel. When it shouldn't show up on the right channel, I should just receive a acoustic impulse response here. Couldn't figure this out, but it turns out that I can't use the laptop's microphone's preamp. Just can't power my DIY mic properly. And another issue that I came across was this laptop had a problem with 192k sample rate that should look like a direct delta function and it's kind of truncated here you know it, it starts down here and then it goes up when it should start at zero at some point rise up to you know infinity and come back down immediately and then you know you'll get some ringing and then it'll reach steady state you know similar well this is the acoustic frequency response measured at the microphone from the speaker but all of this is just this here is just time of flight from zero zero is about here to here is time of flight but I'm seeing some of the left channel feed into the right channel and that I couldn't figure that out but it turns out I you can't use a this laptops <laughs> you know maybe on another laptop but this laptop can't you can't I can't use the mic preamp on this guy so I think um, after I figured that out I connected my analog preamp to my DIY mic and got a way better better uh, measurement uh, but I also use um, this Mackie which has a phantom you know the, the voltage here. phantom powered microphone stuff phantom powered DC voltage that powers the microphone here and I have and This one on the left is a 
M Earthworks M50. And the one on the right, that's my DIY microphone, and it's got a long you know, brass, like 12 inches or more neck on it. And the, the capsule's right here. Um, so I'm, I'm going to take a measurement using this guy now with my Mackie preamp that I showed you right here. So the input goes here. The line out from the laptop goes here. Um, channel 1. Channel 2 I use to, re to receive the uh, impulse response. And I have, you know, I can set the levels here from these controls. And on my main left and right, left goes to the amplifier, right goes to the back to the laptop on the line input of the laptop right and I have controls here this number one's for your line out number two is for the mic level and I have the main here and I have these controls that I can set the levels So, all right, let me minimize that. So here we are. So you just need to come in here and under your preferences. And what's at the top is going to be the default. So it looks like I got line in as a default here, rear, the rear panel. This one's the built-in microphone to the laptop. This one's the mic in at the rear mic connector this one's the built-in microphone and this one is the line in all right so what we're going to use is the line in which is already the default and we're going to use the speakers on this real i have a real tech um, sound card built into this laptop here and i have to use the inverted settings on this because i looked at the impulse response and it shows the peak if i don't do it this way the, the peak is um negative instead of being positive I'm going to set these from 10 to 100k um, come over here to you. measurement systems and we're going to do the sampling rate of 96 because I already described the problem I saw using 192k and that's a problem with this laptop again it's not sound easy we're going to use this length and if I come here I got all my cables plugged in I'm going to That's your impulse response, and I have channel one and channel two at the at the output of the amplifier right now. So what I should see right now is a straight line. And this is a check to verify your left and right channels, you know, are um, measuring and correcting properly. Yeah, so we get a straight line. And you notice there's some little ripples here at below you know, below 60 hertz let's put it that way and I kind of noticed this is you know an issue with the laptop maybe if I increase my well I tried increasing the time window here and it didn't make much of a difference this is an issue with the laptop so this is the the third issue that I have with this laptop here so and you can see we pretty much got a straight line the resolution here each line here is 60 B um, you know we could set this to whatever you like you know 3 dB even to make it look you know worse right so but we pretty much got a straight line here right and this is the laptop noise So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my I'm going to plug my microphone I'm going to take this cable it's currently connected to the amplifier output and put it on the microphone 
to feed it back into the um, sound easy software but let me just say this that you do need a um, voltage divider to not you know keep the voltage low because you're if, if you're measuring voltages on the back of your amplifier you know those voltages could destroy your sound card so you know I got a voltage divider here I'm going to remove this cable and put that cable here and this guy's my s microphone preamp now it's powering the microphone and there's a built-in preamp um, and you know I've looked at this preamp it's pretty much ruler flat from you know all the way from 5 Hertz out to 100 K it's ruler flat and so it, it, it doesn't need to be corrected for anything so we're gonna come back here I'm gonna move the cables And we're going to take our measurement. Now, I'm measuring a tweeter right now, so I don't really care what happens down here at the low frequency range, right? Because, I mean, this tweeter is going to probably go to probably 1K. And it does extend out beyond 50K, though, I believe, you know, 48K. So you're going to see it getting truncated here because we're at 96 sampling rate, and, you know, you can go out to 48K at that sampling rate. All right, I'm going to hit run MLS here. And that's our acoustic impulse response there showing up. And we're going to window it by clicking here, and it gives an acoustic distance. So we went from the 0 to 51 centimeters here. So now I'm going to adjust the level, and I'm going to jack up the level a little bit so we can get... Right, so we got the LEDs, you know, at the uh, proper level here, which is, you know, one below the max. And, you know, where do we put the marker? Uh, that's going to be on an another video I'll upload after this. But let's just choose a spot here, which is, you know, I'm going to clear this and plot it. And we kind of got a frequency response going on here. Um, and to not make it look so bad, I'm going to change the resolution to 6. All right, so it looks a little better. Uh, so, yeah, each line is now 6 dB. So, you know, it looks a little flatter now. Um, if, if, and as you can see, it's going out to 48K and then it gets truncated here. And, um, there's a routine in here now where we can determine we can actually remove the time of flight here and get the minimum phase of this driver um, I won't do it this video but I just wanted to go over the laptop issues that I had from the prior video right so what I will do is show you the problem that I have with 192k using this laptop <laughs> so if I come into this real tech thingy here and I think I only have to if I change this to 16 192 and the microphone to 192 change my rate to 192 clear this and I'm going to move the mic input back to the calibration position which is going to the two channels should look identical but 
I'm going to show you that I have a problem with this. This specific laptop has a problem. I'm going to show you this with a desktop that I have here, um, and it does not have a problem. It's, it's only this laptop that this seems to be doing this. As you can see, that does not look like the function earlier, right? It's kind of truncated here, and I'm seeing my markers off here. I'm going to arrow up until it says zero. But because they're identical, and let's see here. If I take a frequency response, oh, I get a straight line. And look at that. Now, my low frequency has cleared up. It may be because I'm using the higher sampling rate, but my my windowing is the same. But I went to higher sampling rate, looks like. Um, I don't know why it would clear up the low frequencies I expected to. <laughs> well, actually, the points on the low frequencies become... They're closer together compared to the lower sampling rate. Right, but now I've cleared up the low frequency response by using the higher sampling rate. But the problem is with this laptop only, that is not a direct delta function, it's shifted here. Right, so when I do get my acoustic center by removing the time of flight, my acoustic distance is off which I'm going to show in a separate video of how to do that, but hey. So these are just some laptops problems that I was having with SoundEasy. The problem was not SoundEasy, it was my laptop. Um, I've proven that by using a desktop. In desktop, I get a way, you know, much better results. Anyhow, I wanted to clear that up. I, I left uh, some questions hanging on the, on the first video. All right, so see you on the next video.